Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com. Today is the 21st of February and I wanted to do uh, another example today of a trade setup from our Wave5 Trade Signal Service. Today I'm going to choose longs on the 60 minute. Our members get both long and short signals every day. Uh, they simply come into the members area, click on the image and download the spreadsheets. The longs and shorts are on weekly, daily and 60 minutes, but I've chosen 60 minute time frame today for longs and this is our uh, how the spreadsheet looks today. So we've got quite a lot of potential longs there. So let's have a look at FCX right at the top of the chart there and see what's happening. So I'm using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Ninja Trader uh, NT8. And we also uh, make it for Think or Swim, Trade Station, and Multi Charts. But I'm using Ninja Trader today. Uh, this is the 60-minute chart for FCX, as I said before. Previous Wave Five hit the target down here on the left, and then on the 60-minute chart we've had the Wave One, the Wave Two, the Wave Three, and the Wave Four has come back into our high probability pullback zones. The Elliott Wave counts are automatic on our system, um, but also for those that are members already, uh, it's pretty obvious where to isolate the bar count down here at, the, at these lows here. Um, also on our scanner results, we filter out the 535 oscillator down here at the bottom. Uh, that's now crowned and come into uh, between the 90 and the 140 percent and the stochastic is in the filter as well for crossing over in the oversold zone and also the wave for pullback coming into our high probability zones. So let's just zoom in a little bit on, on the actual uh, fourth wave and see what we're going to trade the fifth wave here. We're looking for the long. So yesterday we gap down on FCX and try to close that gap and then just sold off gradually during the day. We didn't break that wave for low. So today, if we don't break this wave for low and we start to move higher again and resume the, the main bullish trend. And how do I know it's the main bullish trend? We can go to the daily chart on FCX. And we can see on the daily chart, we're in a strong bullish trend that has a wave four pullback on the daily as well. The wave four has found support and it's come through the 6.4 moving average high here. I'm already long on this on the daily anyway. Uh, and then it's had this pullback. Then we've had this um, the doji yesterday. And this is what we're trading now. We're looking for that 60 minutes. So overall, the trend is bullish. So we're going to trade off the 60 minutes. So let's go back to the 60 minute time frame. So with this, the wave four has found good support. We're looking for that to hold and then for the price to move back above the 6.4 moving average high, this green moving average here, also above the high of yesterday. So we can say that after the gap down yesterday, it did try and make new highs, but rejected that level for yesterday and came back down and found support here. So what we're looking for today is to break that high from yesterday. So we're looking for an 1878 entry. The stop loss is a couple of cents below the wave four. The wave four low yesterday was 18.27. So your stop loss needs to be about 18.25, something like that. And we've got our automated target zone up here in blue, uh, about 19.70 target in the middle of that zone there. So we've got a great risk to reward of one to 1 1.6 or, or there or thereabouts into our target zone for this long swing trade on the 60 minute. Now this could take uh, two or three days to reach the target. So be prepared to, to hold it overnight and swing that over. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.